Welcome to our tutorial about importing audio files. In addition to recording your new stuff, Cubase lets you import files from your CDs or your hard drive. This is, of course, a very convenient way to share files between musicians who record in their own home studios, for example. You can import most of today's common audio formats like WAV files, Macintosh AI FF files, WMA files, Windows Media Audio, and MP3s, for example. You can also import recycle files, and Cubase will recognize any tempo and pitch metadata usually associated with ACID loops. Cubase will support many additional file types as we see from the Import Audio dialog window. Let's import an audio file. And here are many different file types that Cubase will support. Cancel out of this dialog window. One way to import files is to drag them directly from your Windows Explorer folder or the Macintosh Finder onto a track. Let me navigate to a folder where the file I need is stored. First, I'm going to position the cursor exactly where I want to drop the file. Let me go get my folder now. Select the track and drop it right into the Cubase project window. If you want the file to be on a new track, drag to empty space below the last track in the project window. Otherwise, you can just drop it onto any existing track. You can also import files by going to File or Cubase, Import, and then Audio File, as you saw a moment ago. Let's browse to the location of the file you want to import. And then we select the file and click the Open button. And the file is dropped on the track I'd selected right where my cursor was positioned. It appears as an audio event in the project window and I can drag it around like any other audio event to reposition it wherever I like. This concludes our lesson about importing an audio file. In our next lesson, we'll talk about how to import from an audio CD, which is a little bit different.